When I go to a coffee shop, I'll often have, yes, a coffee and I'll whoop down a huge slice of chocolate cake, which is my absolute weakness. But on the savory side, I would often tend to have a quiche. I love quiche and I love thin crisp pastry and I love a nice custardy eggy filling in the middle. A lot of people have this whole wrong impression about making a quiche and they think it's so difficult and it's challenging, but it's really, in fact, very easy. The thing you have to bear in mind when making a quiche is that the ingredients that you are cooking has to be cooked really well. For instance, onions. If you do not cook onions properly, the sulfur in the onions will separate the custard and that's when you end up with that scrambled eggy custard filling. So I'm going to teach you how to make a really nice, simple, quick and easy vegetarian quiche that will have your family and friends drooling and wanting more. And when you go to a coffee shop, you will think of me and you shouldn't judge the coffee shop, but you'll be able to know the difference between a good and a bad quiche. Watch this. First of all, I need to make the filling for the quiche because this needs time to cool. What I'm going to be doing is making a vegetarian filling just using some red pepper, mushrooms and some chopped onion and a little bit of garlic and some fresh thyme for flavour. Heat some butter in a pan and allow this to melt. Add the finely chopped onion and allow this to soften. Add a splash of water to help it soften a lot quicker. You can add a pinch of salt at this stage. Once the onions have softened, you can add a finely chopped red pepper. Allow this to cook further for about another roughly 5 to 6 minutes. Don't add the garlic too early in the dish. Add it now and rasp it in. If you add the garlic too early, what happens is that the garlic can have a high tendency to burn and become bitter, which will affect the flavor of the quiche. Lastly, add some fresh thyme and stir this through. Tumble in the mushrooms and allow this to simmer away on a gentle heat. Keep stirring and don't let it catch. Once the filling is cooked and all softened, then set it aside to cool and then proceed with making the base. To make the pastry case, I need some flour. I'm using 250 grams of cake flour. To this, I'm going to add a tablespoon of icing sugar. This enriches the pastry and makes it a little bit sweet. Crack an egg and separate the yolk from an egg into a cup and add four tablespoons of fridge cold water. Whisk these through together until it's nicely blended. To the flour, thumb in or work with your fingertips and crumble in 150 grams of very cold cubed butter. The butter has to be cold here. If it's not cold, it's going to make the pastry oily. So what you do is just use the pads of your thumbs and forefingers and work the flour, massaging the fat and flour together almost like dry swimming as Nigella would say. Once this is done, add the egg and water mixture to the flour and stir through with a fork or a knife. Do not use a spoon as in a wooden spoon as this sort of will not be able to cut into the mixture. Form the dough in your hands. Try not to use the palms of your hands too much on, in contact with the dough as this can start melting the butter. Cover the dough in cling wrap and allow this to chill in the fridge for roughly 5 to 10 minutes to set the butter again. Once the pastry is set, remove it from the fridge and on a lightly floured surface, roll out the pastry roughly to about the thickness of a pound coin. Slowly lift the pastry up from the counter and ease it into a fluted quiche tin. I'm using a loose bottomed quiche tin here. I need to bake this pastry case blind, so what I'm going to use is ordinary baking paper, which I'll just scrunch up and ease it gently into the sides of the pastry case. And then I'm going to tumble in some green mung beans. You can use ordinary ceramic baking beans if you have any at hand. But if you don't have any of that, just use beans, or you can use some rice, or you can use some popcorn kernels too. Don't use popcorn kernels, you'll have popcorn popping out your fridge. <laughs> oven. Pastry requires a very hot oven, so I've set the oven to 200 degrees here, and this pastry case will bake for roughly 8 to 10 minutes. 
Remove the beans from the pastry case and return the pastry shell to the oven and allow it to dry for a further two to three minutes. Set this aside to cool and then we'll proceed to assembling the quiche. The pastry case is nicely cooled, so what you're going to do now is add the filling to the quiche case and just even it out with a spoon and to that you're going to pour in the custard. Now for the custard you will need 125 milliliters of milk or you can use cream and you're going to use three large eggs. Just fork these through together and add some salt and pepper. Pour the custard carefully into the pastry case over the filling. Ensure that you do not spill or dribble any of the custard over the sides of the pastry because that will cause the pastry to stick to the side of the tin and you will not be able to un unhinge or free the case from the tin when it's baked. Lastly, add about half a cup of finely grated Parmesan cheese and take this to the oven and allow it to bake for about 12 to 15 minutes just until the custard is set. And there we have a simple vegetarian quiche and all it requires for me now is to bite it and enjoy. Crispy, flavorful and heavenly. This is good. Don't you wish you were me? Come on, I'll feed you.